breakfast I'm having a papaya with chia seed pudding and a square of dark chocolate just because it was in the fridge and I love chocolate so um, that's actually not in there for health purposes we'll just hide that um, chia pudding I'll show you the texture chia pudding is actually like really um, thick and gooey kinda and um, you just let it sit for a little while you can make a mixture out of like chia seeds, water, agave, or chia seeds, milk, um, yogurt. You can do different things. You can add berries or fruit into it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and then work out before I eat lunch. That way I kind of feel like I got it out of my stomach before I eat anything else. So this is breakfast and I'm really looking forward to eating it. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words I wish I found some chords in an order that is new I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think Wish we could turn back Try to sell it, never sell out of it. I probably only sell one. Maybe to my brother, cause we have the same nose, same clothes, homegrown, a stone's thrown from a creek we used to roam. But it would remind us of when nothing really mattered. Out of student loans and treehouse homes, we all would take the ladder. My, my name's Mary Face and I. So that'll give me 24 grams of protein. And as usual, I'm making hot chocolate for my snack. I forgot the spoon, so I'm just going to use this. So currently I am drinking my hot chocolate and I'm doing some research because I need to figure out how to sleep better. Um, I did a little like sleep test last night and I found out that I'm not sleeping at all and I'll show you guys the image right here of how I was waking up and falling back asleep and waking up and falling back asleep and all night I just kept waking up over and over and I just wake up tired so that's why I thought I needed to do the test is because I have chronic fatigue, I just have all the symptoms of not sleeping. A couple of videos back I mentioned that I think my hormones were off because I said I'm breaking out, I can't lose weight, I always have um, 
cravings. I'm always hungry. I just really, I know something's off with my body and, um, and I never like that feeling. So I just wanted to know what was wrong. I was thinking about going and getting my hormones checked and then another thing hit me. Um, I thought, well, what if it's not my hormones? What if it, and I mean, it would be my hormones too, but what if the cause of it is actually my sleep because I just wake up tired. And you know, your sleep can definitely affect your weight, your health, your hormones. It affects everything. It's almost more important than like any other thing you can do with your health. You have to make sure your sleep is good. So I did the test and I found out my sleep is really bad, which just makes so much sense. And so that could be leading to everything else. So instead of fixing the hormones or fixing my diet or fixing my ex exercise, I think I need to start by fixing my sleep. I'm currently researching what things I can do to improve sleep. Already I have like several um, like good little notes that I'm taking on you know remedies and reasons for not sleeping well and how to fix that. So I think I'm going to make a separate video on how you can sleep better because if you're having this issue um, or if you're having some kind of issue and you're not sure what it is, check out your sleep, see if that is it, and I will be making a separate video on how to sleep better and that'll probably be a few days from now um, after the challenge so I will post a video in a few days about that when I kind of get my stuff all together I do my research let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips if you guys know something about how to sleep better just comment below and let me know um, what you guys have tried or what works for you and I will much appreciate it so I'm about to go work out because um, just a little bit of weightlifting accessory like shoulder and back workout. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of weightlifting because earlier I didn't really feel like I did much. I was mostly stretching and um, it was really good, really helpful, but I do want to get like a light weightlifting workout in because this weekend I won't be able to. So the next couple of workouts will be all body weight. So I want to go ahead and use the machines while I'm at the gym and I will not be recording it, I'm sorry, because um, I need to be quick about it, but I am basically just going to do some stuff that you guys have seen me do before in earlier videos, so if you haven't seen those, go check those out, and um, afterwards, I'm probably going to eat like a little snack with some protein in it, hopefully, so if I do, um, I will show you guys that. That was a great workout. It's too bad you guys didn't get to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a whole entire video on that workout because it was great. Um, I'm glad I didn't record it because I was trying out like a bunch of new exercises and it might have gone bad if I was like worried about the camera being next to me or something. So I was able to just focus 100% on the workout and it was awesome. So going to have a banana now. Um, I don't have any protein with me unfortunately so um, I go home in an hour and a half. I'll just eat protein when I get home. In the meantime I will have carbs, healthy carbs from my banana and that should help me with recovery a little bit because I was starting to like get a little bit shaky when I was out there working out because my glycogen levels um, were getting low. So it was a great workout. I have no idea how long I worked out but it was just really really good. So I did lots of resting in between my sets that way I was able to fully recover and lift heavy heavy heavy. Definitely hit some PRs today. Um, yeah I think on the back row I did 80 pounds. That's the heaviest I've ever done. I've never tried to do 80 pounds but today I was just feeling it. Um, I think usually my top is 70, but today I was like in full control, able to completely control 80 pounds, so I probably could have gone heavier, but I didn't want to push it. So next time I'll see if I can go heavier because it just felt really good. And so um, I'll actually make, after this 21 day challenge, it'll give me another video to make. I'll have some content for a back workout. So you guys will see that. And so I'm going to eat my banana now and see you guys at dinner.